So today I'm going to be unboxing a pretty new and pretty exciting product. This is the Radeon 5970 and as you can see there are two girls on the front and I suppose what that means is that they want to sell cards to uh, geek male gamers but uh, not that I'm implying anything about our target audience here but what it also means is that there are two and by two they mean GPUs. So this is a dual 5800 series card that is actually kind of like two of a hybrid between a 5870 and a 5850. So it's somewhere between the performance of 5850 Crossfire and 5870 Crossfire. Just like the rest of the 5000 series cards, you've got DirectX 11, iFinity support, it does support ATI Crossfire X, so you can actually run two of these cards with four GPUs for extreme gaming, that kind of experience. So let's get this box opened up here. Okay. So, it is fairly heavy actually for a graphics card. That is extremely heavy. And this card is a monster in terms of size, which we are about to find out. Yeah, so the video card is almost the only thing in here. So, uh, here is the download URL for their overclocking and tweaking utility. Okay, there's the video card itself. I'd like to do the accessory package first though, normally. So, let's have a look at what we've got included with this card. So, you got a Crossfire Bridge. Alright, then they have, oh this is interesting, so this is a mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort adapter, okay, then you have a DVI to VGA adapter, then you have a DVI to HDMI adapter, alright, lots of adapters, um, let's see, a Molex to PCI Express 6 pin adapter, okay, then we have an installation driver CD, don't use this, just download the latest drivers off ATI.com, a full game coupon for Battle Forge, Full game coupon for Dirt 2, mind you not all of the Sapphire cards include Dirt 2 as we found out today. A 2 Molex to 1 8 pin PCI Express adapter. You know what, if you don't have the right PCI Express plugs on your on your uh, power supply though, you shouldn't be buying this card, you should be buying a new power supply. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's the manual. It just, it doesn't make sense to me, people who are buying like a $600 card should have a proper power supply to power it, you want to make sure you're doing that. So, let's get this out of the anti-static baggie here, which is, it seems to be like packed inside like two bags. Oh no, there's like foamies in there to protect this end of the card. So, that is one heck of a long video card. We've got similar sort of graphic on the card itself. We've got one fan at the back here. This is a PCI Express, what is the iPhone here for? Oh, he wants me to use it as a, as like a size comparison. Okay, there you go. It's like as big as like a jillion iPhones. Okay, so this is a PCI Express 2.0 card and it has one 6-pin and one 8-pin power connector that are required, like I said before, just, just get a power supply that supports it. Here you can see that it's got like a black shroud cooling the back of the card as well as gaps for where the two GPUs are located there. In terms of ports on the back of the card itself, we got our ATI Radeon branding here, we have two DVI and one mini display port, so that's how you're going to get your three displays out for iFinity, and there, unlike the 58 and 5850 we have a full slot for exhaust instead of a half slot. I really like to see that they've improved that. Uh, last thing we've got, uh, let me see on the top, actually I'm going to turn this, the cameraman doesn't want me to do that, but there, that's the uh, crossfire finger, so if you're installing two of these monsters, you're going to need to install your crossfire bridge there. There's the bottom of the card, there's nothing particularly interesting there. And then there's our Batmobile looking front of the card. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and overview of the Radeon HD 5970.